Welcome to ITW Extra, powered by JSA TV. We are here live at ITW 2023 in National Harbor on the expo floor. The floor is buzzing, and we are super excited to have Kyle Hildebrand of Vivacity Infrastructure Group here with us today. He is the EVP of Business Development and Marketing for Vivacity Infrastructure Group. Yep. Kyle, welcome. Welcome. Thanks for, or thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's an honor to have you here today. Uh, before we dive in, viewers that might already not know about Vivacity Infrastructure Group, can you tell us a little bit more about the company and what makes Vivacity Infrastructure Group so unique? Sure, absolutely. So Vivacity uh, Infrastructure Group plans, develops, designs, builds, operates, maintains, and commercializes fiber and wireless networks on behalf of its customers. It was founded in 2019. It's a wholly owned portfolio company of Columbia Capital. Um, it operates in a few main sectors, that being um, government, local government, state and local governments, transportation, energy, wireless services, and, and private enterprise. Uh, has three primary operating companies, EX Squared Technology, which is the arm that focuses on designing, building, operating, maintaining, commercializing fiber infrastructure, and Terra Consulting, which focuses on uh, design, engineering, and wireless site development for wireless carriers. Um, in addition, there's Vivacity Networks, which is an asset holding company. Well, we've heard that there's been some exciting changes over at Vivacity over this past year, including your new role That's right. uh, as EVP of Business Development and Marketing. So first, congratulations on that new exciting role. Thanks. Thank you. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about your new position and what you have plans for your new role? Sure. So uh, I assumed uh, the, the position of it. EVP of Business Development and Marketing, um, a spot previously held by Misty Stein. Misty Stein is transitioning to focus all of her time and efforts on our commercialization and monetization customers. Okay. Um, you know, as as the company's grown and as the market's changed and evolved, we, we wanted to put a lot more focus into the commercialization. So that's where her efforts went. I stepped into the role um, to lead the business development and marketing groups, uh, retain the project development responsibilities that I had. And we think it's just um, it's an opportunity, you know, to, to put more focus in, in different areas as the company grows. We're really excited about it. I'm going to leverage all of my experience in, you know, implementing and developing large scale critical infrastructure projects. Um, I've worked day in and day out with Missy Stein for the last 15 years. So I'm really, really in tuned of what she was working on and, and how things were going. And so it was a very easy transition for, for me to step into that role. Um, I think we'll be able to, to take this to the next, the next level and develop our relationships and opportunities. That sounds exciting. Congrats again on this new role. I mean, in addition to your promotion, uh, there's been some exciting other new hires within your group. Why don't you talk a little bit more about sure. some of your colleagues and sure. their roles? Okay. Um, one of the first things we did was we, we realized that we need to expand our business development side of our, our group with some really high powered, great folks. And and the first hire we made was Jeff Sabatka. He's a long-term industry, you know, industry expert. He's been working in telecom for, for a long time, most recently as the director or state broadband director for the state of Arizona Commerce Authority. So what he brings to the table is, is a understanding of all of the complex things that our government clients are dealing with as they as they look at the inflow of, of government and private monies into the broadband space. And he understands, you know, what they need to do to maximize everything that they're going to work on, you know, to, to get as much broadband out there as they can. The other one is Jen Hawkinsmith. Jen is a longtime wireless industry uh, veteran. She has a lot of experience um, in that, but also she has, you know, the outside plan experience on the fiber side. So as we, you know, find more and more places where fiber and wireless are, are, are coming together at that intersection, she's really spearheading that effort. So all of our opportunities and, and, and client relationships um, where wireless is involved, she's involved. So where Jeff is focused on, you know, local and state governments, she's really focused on the wireless. Great group. Uh, you know, it's the, it's the first of a few hires, but, you know, some of the most critical first. Well, congrats to Jeff and Jen. Yeah, uh, we're really excited like to have them. That you have a female leader on the team. Yeah, so she's that's amazing. Great. Yeah. 
Um, looking forward to maybe interviewing uh, Jeff or Jen one day. I hope you can. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, so tell us a little bit more about what other initiatives that you have going on in Vivacity and what you're focusing on for the months ahead. Sure. Well, Vivacity is, has a lot of things going. We're really busy, but just like everyone else in this space, you know, we have to, we have to do things wisely. So we have projects going on. Um, we're very focused on middle mile fiber development as well as fiber to the premises development, intelligent transportation, and, and the build out of, of a lot of different wireless infrastructure. So uh, examples of some of those would be middle mile projects going on from Grafton County, New Hampshire, where we're connecting 39 municipalities to help them expand and attract new ISP entrants to their area. Uh, we also go uh, upper Midwest, Livingston County, Michigan is another is another place where they're building out a countywide middle mile or we're building out a countywide middle mile to support their anchor institutions and all of their different, um, you know, government facilities and schools or Navajo County, Arizona, a very rural area reaching the, the corners of that county, very sparsely populated in some places to help them, you know, take control of their own broadband destiny and leverage the uh, leverage the funding that they have available to bring broadband to a, a vastly underserved area. So a lot of things, a lot of things going on it on the. Yeah, I was just say on the, on the Terra side of things, there are wireless projects going on from from coast to coast, and they're really busy involved. They have dozens of projects going on at a time. Everyone's everyone's having a good time, and and we're really busy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's great to be busy, and it sounds like some of these projects are critically important uh, to bring this infra much needed infrastructure across the coast to coast, like you mentioned. Yeah all across the country. So congrats on all these exciting projects ahead. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Not really. I, I, I think that, you know, Vivacity has, we put together a, a great company and a, and a team to really focus on turnkey operations. And we can handle, you know, projects of, of all different sizes. And we really focus on a partnership model. I mean, sometimes that's an overused phrase, but that's really, really what we try to do is to find that win-win. And, and, you know, when we can find those, you know, you know everybody benefits. Yeah, and partnerships are so important. Absolutely. Especially we're seeing that here live on the floor here That's at right. ITW. That's right. In their everything today. Uh, where can viewers go if they want to learn more? Uh, you could go on the web to vivacitygroup.com or connect with us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Great. Well, thanks again, Kyle, for joining us today uh, for ITW Extra, powered by JSA, live here at ITW 2023. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. Happy networking.